turn to the experts at We're back at it. It's Thursday, according to my calendar, and it wouldn't lie to me. I put fresh batteries in it. Thursday, 25th day of January, 2024. It's Wake Up in Anche Valley. I am Dan Coots. It's misty. It's cloudy. Kind of drizzly light rain. More like mist. That's so thick, it kind of feels like it's light rain. 33 degrees, more active weather. We had that wet snow yesterday morning. It tapered off. Didn't get very warm. Only got to 35 yesterday. We're not going to be right around there today. Uh, significant warming trend, lots of rain. Uh, temperatures push in the mid 40s by the time the weekend's a done deal. So some big time snow melt is coming our way and we will have that wet and mild forecast right around the corner. We have news. It was a busy day yesterday in the newsroom. We'll let you know what exactly took place as we uh, get you going on this Thursday. Sports crack and win highlights, wild win highlights of that. Prep basketball scoreboard, the schedule as well. We'll have that in sports. In the back half of the program, always good to see my friend Dave Tosh. She's the executive director of the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. Their big crab feed, which is always a big fundraiser for them, the all-you-can-eat crab, gluttonous gobs of <coughs> in your face. Usually that's in June. They're having it in just a couple of weeks because they're doing a fundraiser. It's time to expand. The Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center, they have run out of room, so they're starting the process of raising the dough they need to make a bigger facility. For the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center, Dave Tosh and his buddy Jim Tarbert, who is chairing the committee to build the new addition to the Senior Center. They will be my guests in the back half of the program. And it is Thursday, Paws for Pets. There are a couple of cats who need a home. They're probably a lot more than a couple of cats who need a home, but we're gonna preview a couple of them for you. For the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society, it's two minutes after the hour and we start our tour with the Heights camera, which is usable today. This time of the year with the low clouds and the fog and the mist, kind of hit and miss on whether the Wenatchee Heights camera can do us any good, but today, well, we can see a little bit anyway over the Wenatchee Valley. A little bit of snow melt yesterday, not too much. More's coming, and we're gonna see temperatures uh, above freezing for the overnight lows by the time we get to weekend. And again, midday highs by Monday and Tuesday, well into the 40s. Let's uh, head on up, see Cashmere from on top of Hay Canyon. Not long ago, when we went through the cameras about 10 minutes ago, it was kind of snowing up there a little bit, not anymore. Good morning to Cashmere, Jasmine's hometown. Good morning to Cashmere, covered in snow. Uh, Arondo Rock, head on over to the Columbia River. Good morning to Lake Antiat. Traffic on the left hand between East Wenatchee and Arondo. You can see the lights of Rocky Reach Dam and way off in the distance is the Wenatchee Valley. And a little bit of, I don't know if that's snow or just misty rain. It would seem odd that it would be, not be snowing high up in Kashmir on the Hay Canyon, but it would be down along the river at Arondo Rock. But Mother Nature gets to call the shots. The Billy Go camera's looking good. Check this out. Hello, Pateras, the Methauer River, Bridgeport, Brewster, Omak, Okanagan, you're all down there, Riverside. Tenasket, you just can't see them. Clouds are hanging low and thick over the Alta Lake area from our Billy Goat camera. A sunrise this morning, 735. Sunset tonight, 451. That buys us nine hours and 16 minutes of daylight. We're gaining about 90 seconds of daylight a day. That's good. We always like that. Still got fog out in the Columbia Basin. This has been a persistent problem. Right now, Waterville, you're two hours late. They know that by now, but the kids in Waterville uh, you can sleep in a little bit, no school for a couple of hours and later than normal. Very thick fog in the Moses Lake area, in the Waterville area, uh, in the Ritzville area. Again, driving the I-90 corridor between Moses Lake and Ritzville, and even Quincy is going to be very foggy this morning. If you need to head out there and you like to see where you're going, um, you might put it off for a couple of hours, let the sun burn off the density in the fog. But visibility, once again, is an issue out in the Columbia Basin. From the National Weather Service, that way if you don't like the weather, you can blame the government. And we mentioned cloudy, snow level today will be at 2,700 feet. Any kind of precipitation that we get today is gonna come down in the form of rain and a high of 36, which is just about normal. 31 for the overnight low tonight, dry, just foggy and cloudy. And we get going to the weekend. Friday, rain, snow level 2,100 feet. Foggy, cloudy, high of 36. Are you detecting a pattern here? Rain Friday night. Rain Saturday, snow level Saturday, 
goes up to 7,000 feet. It's going to rain everywhere on Saturday, including the mountain passes. Get ready for some big time snow melt, pretty gloppy conditions. A high of 38 into the 40s we go on Sunday with rain and Monday. <coughs> More rain in Tuesday and look at those temperatures afternoon highs in the mid 40s overnight lows above 39 degrees. So we're in for some pretty warm weather. We're just going to go up one step at a time on the ladder. All right. Five minutes after the hour, we're going to take a break and then we'll fill your head full of the information you need. The news is next. You're watching a Thursday edition of Wake Up in Anchee Valley on the NCW Life Channel. A ductless unit from Carrier can keep anyone comfortable. Take Shelly, for instance. She finds me time in her new attic turned home gym. And with her Carrier ductless unit, the temperature is always perfect. No matter how intense her workout gets. Carrier, total comfort, totally happy. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. At Confluence Health, our mission is clear to provide exceptional care for our community. We believe in healthcare that's personal and local because we're just like you, members of this great community. We are Confluence. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. Local care by and for our community. We are Confluence. Hey there folks, Blueberry Carrie here to invite you on out to Blueberry Hills to experience some real treats. Take a look at our homemade cream pies, our amazing cheesecakes, and don't forget our famous banana pudding. Remember, we're more than just great treats. People come from all over the world to experience what has been called one of the best destination restaurants in the Pacific Northwest. So come on out and see what all the fuss is about. Blueberry Hills in Manson, it's where the world is coming to. Global Car Care has the best customer service in the Valley. From the moment you walk in the door, their goal is to help you stay on the road. So you can keep doing what's important to you. Global Car Care certified ASE mechanics stand behind your automotive repairs. As you can see, it's misty and cloudy and foggy, 33 degrees, no sunshine today, some rain, mid 30s, upper 30s, lower 40s into the weekend, S considerable amount of rain and temperatures well above normal. Eight minutes after the hour, we'll start with this. Two people are dead following a house fire Tuesday evening just outside of Afreda. Firefighters were summoned at about 8 o'clock on Tuesday night to the single wide manufactured home is in the 9800 block of Road H Northwest. That's about nine miles southwest of Afreda. The body of one of the home's elderly occupants was discovered shortly after the fire was put out. The other occupant, a woman, was presumed missing until her body was recovered on Wednesday morning. Their identities not immediately disclosed by authorities. The Grant County Fire Marshal's office is investigating. It's a go. Shaline County PUD commissioners have agreed to buy some land, pretty good chunk of land. As a matter of fact, about 5,000 acres of undeveloped land from Raven Wing Ranch. The property price, $5.3 million. It comes out to about $1,000 per acre. The land is located along Clockham Road in the foothills above Malaga. The PUD is halfway through a due diligence investigation period. A strategic planning process will launch after the official sale is closed to decide, well, we bought the land. What are we going to do with it? Plaintiffs are taking a class action suit to the Washington Court of Appeals over patient data that was lost by the Chelan Douglas Health District. The agency suffered data breaches in 2021 and that allowed hackers to steal personal and medical information of health district clients. Two of those clients sued for negligence in Chelan County Court claiming the district should have had better security on its computer systems. But Judge Kristen Ferreira dismissed the case after health district lawyers said the plaintiffs had showed no real evidence that they are actually harmed by the breach. Their appeal now argues that cybersecurity is a new area of the law and one says her stolen information 
was used fraudulently after the breach. The Court of Appeals will consider the case in March. Chelan County's jail will soon deploy medical sensors to keep an extra eye on people who are booked into custody who might be suffering from distress. Regional Justice Center Director Chris Sharp says the ceiling mounted sensors are going to be placed in a dozen intake and holding cells where they can monitor an inmate's heart rate and respiration. Sharp says it's a response to the increasing frequency of drug overdoses and ailments related to poverty and homelessness. About 75% of all the people booked into the jail are in the process of detoxing from drugs or alcohol or both. Chelan County purchased the sensors for about $74,000. They are expected to be installed by the end of spring. And the landing, it's a brand new barbecue cafe officially opened at Pangborn Memorial Airport. They opened on Monday. It's operated by the owners of the popular catering company, R Shack Barbecue. And CW Life caught up with the owner, Louis Trim, the morning of their grand opening. Hi, I'm Lewis. Uh, I have a business called R Shack Barbecue and Catering, and we are opening up the landing cafe and barbecue. Uh, today's our grand opening. So we are opening it up today, and this has actually been a two month process uh, for us to get it open. Now, why is that? One of the reasons is, is because our catering business for the holidays was extremely busy and we couldn't get it open sooner. But now that uh, things have slowed down due to being first of the year, uh, we're able to get this open and we've got staff hired. And it's been, it's been a process. I will leave it at that. It's been a process, but we're excited to finally get it open and service all the businesses around here, plus the patrons of the airport. Our menu is going to be a little different than what people would expect from our catering or our events trailer. Uh, yes, we will have pulled pork sandwiches. We'll have our uh, ever popular mac and cheese. We've got brisket chili on the menu right now. And then the new items such as our take flight business class sandwiches. And these are like a club sandwich on ciabatta bread with bacon, ham, and turkey. Uh, and then we also have some salads, like a Caesar salad, a chicken, crispy cr chicken salad, and uh, fries with a special seasoning. Oh, everything is good. Right now, we are gonna be open Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 p.m. Uh, we are gonna support the afternoon flight in and out and the local businesses uh, for their lunch because a lot of them, you know, there's no food options up here, so they have to drive down into East Wenatchee, uh, and we're gonna be setting up uh, online ordering so they can order online ahead of time and come by and pick it up, as well as, you know, have the sit-down area if they would like. Um, eventually, here, hopefully soon, we're gonna be starting opening up for the morning flight as well, offering coffee, uh, espressos, bagels, breakfast sandwiches also for that morning flight. And then uh, we can adjust the afternoon hours. If it looks like we're getting uh, business up till four o'clock, we'll stay open till four. And we're also gonna be opening up in the weekends. Uh, once we get the staff trained and we get our flow down, uh, we'll be opening up seven days a week. Well, I, for one, am hungry, but I get up early. That's the news at 14 minutes after the hour. If you want to know what's going on in the Wenatchee Valley, North Central Washington, you're invited to watch the news. That's what we do around here. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 10 o'clock on TV. 5, 6, and 10. If it doesn't fit into your schedule, our news will be up and running on the World Wide Web on our homepage, ncwlife.com, our Facebook page, our YouTube page, and on our app. And if you haven't downloaded our app yet, you can do it right now. There's the QR code. Check it out. And if you have something out there that you think warrants our attention, you get a hold of us so we know. Our email address, news at ncwlife.com. For the local hockey teams, it was a good Wednesday night. Sports is next. You watch your Wake Up in Anchee Valley on the NCW Life channel.
Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, and in touch. Localtel cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speed makes life better. If you need fast, reliable internet, or maybe an upgrade, or you just have questions, connect with us by visiting localtel.com or call 509-888-8888 today. Fifteen minutes after the hour, Jared McCann scored his 19th goal of the season right out of the box. A good night between the pipes for Joey Decord. He made 34 saves and the Seattle Kraken handed Chicago its 18th straight road loss. The final 6-2 up with the Blackhawks on Wednesday night. These guys to come up the lineup and probably, quite frankly, aren't, aren't ready and, and just can't be able to play in a lot of those offensive situations. Yeah, they've been keeping games close and playing with a lot of spirit, but you're right. The execution doesn't match up with a lot of the healthy teams. Oh, what a shot. Score, McCann, set up by Everly. 1-0 Seattle. 19th goal for number 19. Goal for Akovsky, for Wenberg. Bracken control the puck. Back out to the point for Dunn. Now Burakovsky with a shot. Score! And now Felino with it for the Blackhawks. Back around to Dickinson. Dickinson to the right point. Jones, score! You need, yeah, well, yeah, probably. Well, I might have hit Bush by accident. But, uh, you need some eye black down there. That's what you're saying, right? Uh, exactly right. <laughs> My golf class, I thought. <laughs> hey, Enzo, no one. Uh, oh, oh, the Kraken oh. score. 16 seconds in. 3 1, Seattle. Jason Dickinson was skating by Soderblom. Skate. Oh, it ends up being classic. Oh. He just turns, and the puck goes right off of. 72 white right between the Another good play by Glassett. Knocked that puck out of midair. We're going right to Tana. Tana centering pass. Blocked off. Here's Dumoulin. Dumoulin cross out. Score! Tana! 4-1 Seattle. Well, really solid work of puck retrieval for the Kraken. This Tanner and Dumoulin play a little give and go. The quick little play, and then Tanner just gets it. He just Here's Tatar. Tatar slides it across. Borgin with a shot kicked out. Rebound, score! Tatar with his second. Well, we said it a little while ago. Tomas Tatar has been just absolutely dynamite here tonight. He stops up, he curls, he throws the puck back to Morgan. Big rebound out in front of the net. Blackhawks have plenty of players back. But the puck pops out past the coverage. And Tatar just got to bury it. And Dickinson, at this point here, he's turned around. You can see. <laughs> Good job, Ben. He was at practice today, too, grinding it out. Always grinding. 16 Kraken and their four-game losing streak. Yeah, no more four-game losing streak. Now they'll try to make it two in a row. The Kraken will host the Blues from St. Louis uh, on Friday night. Men's college basketball, Isaac Jones scored 17 points, grabbed 10 rebounds. All five starters for the Cougars got into double figures. Washington State pulls away from, from uh, Utah. In the second half, 79 to 57 there. And in Seattle, Colorado put up 50 points by halftime, made 26 free throws, and the Buffaloes blow out the Huskies 98 to 81. The men's college basketball schedule, pretty light. Gonzaga will welcome San Francisco to town, 6 o'clock. You can watch that on ESPN2. Women's college basketball, number 17, Gonzaga, is in California to take on Santa Clara. That's a 4 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. Eastern is on the road at Northern Colorado. Scoreboard in prep girls basketball last night. Davis rolled over Moses Lake 68-31. to And Ellensburg has now won 67 games in a row. They took care of Othello 71 
to 26. Boys basketball in Davis proves they're still the number one team in the state. Rolled over Moses Lake 90 to, to uh, 33 and Othello got by the Ellensburg boys 64 to 53. High school wrestling, it was a split. The Moses Lake boys just squeaked by Davis, but the Davis girls rolled over Moses Lake on the mats last night. And wild hockey, when Edgy Wild scored the first five goals, including three goals in just two minutes in the second period, and they cruised to a 7-4 win over the Tri-City Americans last night at the Town Toyota Center. Fan, Fan looking to make a pass, kicked away by Wood. Wild grab this one back with Evan Friesen. Friesen up the right wing, Iso guy in stride, looking for a forehand chance, he scores! Had to make a quick move back to his forehand and he pulls it off. And the Wenatchee Wild have the one nothing lead. Round up down there, the puck is starting to hop and the strides are starting to get a little longer and a little slower. Near corner, Sherbina. Throws it toward the net, it's blind. He just threw it on and he scored. At worst, 2-1-1 one, one, and they can't get a shot away. Wood was right nearby and couldn't get a pass. Iso guy pulled down, penalty coming up. Wild jam it in and score! It's a rebound marker, it's freezing, it's 3-0. This one out is Rooks. Slides a pass for Arp. Arp with a wrist shot down the slot. Save, rebound, they score! Sam Ward rewarded for nothing. Let's get the announcement on this one real quick. Assistant number 45, Steven. In front for McCaggerty. He slides it in and scores! Maddox McCaggerty! That's your third line. It's 5 nothing Wenatchee. Oh, Moving right to left. Why not with a big stick lift? Pokes it free. Tri-City just looking to get the stick. We were going to show a Tri-City goal, but nah, to heck with it. Uh, the Wild will welcome the Thunderbirds. Seattle will be in town. Uh, at the Town Toyota Center Friday at 7 o'clock. The prep basketball schedule at girls looks like this. Cashman will take on Quincy at 545. The Chelan girls are non-leaguer. They'll be at Zilla at 6 o'clock. Manson will host Okanagan, and Tenasket will host the Bridgeport ladies also at 6 o'clock. Boys basketball, same schedule, just a little bit later. Cashmere at Quincy at, at 715. It is Zilla hosting Chelan at 730. Manson will host Okanagan at 730, and Tenasket welcomes Bridgeport to town at 730. And head to the gym tonight. In beautiful East Wenatchee, Washington, the Wildcats will host the Wenatchee Panthers in boys and girls wrestling. They'll get going at 7 o'clock. And those are just some of the games that people are playing. On this 25th day of January, happy Observe the Weather Day today, which isn't too hard. You just look out the window. The, the science of meteorology is actually very new. Before they really got into understanding weather patterns and they were able to put satellites up in the air to check things out in jet streams and radars and, and all kinds of, of super scientific, super accurate weather predictions that they can now do today, meteorologists can do, that they couldn't do just 20 years ago, even 30 years ago. The idea of predicting the weather has gotten much, much better. Back in the old days, they just guessed. Nobody really had any idea. They would go back and look at weather almanacs on this date over the last 15 years, and they would just guess. Nobody could really actually predict the weather very well. They still don't, they, you know, they have their good days and bad. They still rely on weather spotters, but who's kidding who? The science of predicting the weather has gotten a lot better. Anybody can observe the weather. Predicting the weather is another story altogether. Every minute on this planet, right now, there are about 2,000 thunderstorms happening. So think about that for just a little bit. Observe the weather day today. If you have a window, you can do it. It's 24 minutes after the hour. Today in history, happy 100th anniversary to the Olympic Winter Games. The very first Winter Games opened in Chalmade, French, uh, France, in the French Alps. Very first Winter Games. They did have wintertime sports in previous Olympics. They had a figure skating and things like that in the Summer Olympics. They figured that wasn't going to work out very good. So they started the Winter Olympics 100 years ago today, 16 nations, 258 athletes. An American by the name of Charles Jutra won the very first ever Winter Olympic gold medal. He did it in speed skating. 
who's the all-time na nation leader in golds and all that? Norway. Norway is the undisputed king of the Winter Olympics. They have won more gold medals, more silver medals, more bronze medals, and more total member medals than any other country. It's Norway. No big surprise there. Happy 100th birthday to the Winter Olympics. 53 years ago today, January 25th, 1971, Charles Manson and three members of the Manson family are found guilty in the Tate LaBianca murders that happened in Los Angeles in 1969. Charles Manson died in prison in November of 2017 at the age of 83. Susan Atkins stayed in prison. She died of a brain tumor at the age of 61 in 2009. And Patricia Kernwinkel and Leslie Van Houten are still in prison. Uh, 29 years ago, look at that, that's kind of scary, isn't it? A couple weeks before January 29th, 1995, the American and the Norwegian officials said, we're gonna shoot a rocket up into the sky from Norway because we want to observe the Northern Lights from a special telescope we built. And they told the Russian authorities, just heads up, you're gonna see a rocket shooting up from Norway uh, in the wee small hours of January 25th. But the Russian officials neglected to tell the people at their radar station uh, in Murmansk that they were gonna do that and they forgot to tell them, oops, just a phone call. By the way, there's gonna be a rocket, don't worry about it. Well, the rocket goes up and they went nuts in Murmansk. We're being attacked, it's a nuclear missile from a submarine and they got a hold of Boris Yeltsin and they unlocked the nuclear suitcase and they were getting ready to go to war. So no, 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 no. Didn't you get our, we, we, we called you, we sent you an email. Things got pretty hairy there. That's the way it was, I guess. That was 29 years ago today. Let's do Super Bowls, three of them to talk about. Super Bowl XV, you may know it as Super Bowl 15. The Oakland Raiders defeat the Philadelphia Eagles at the Superdome in New Orleans to win 27 to 10. Oakland becomes the first team as a wild card team to win the Super Bowl. The Raiders became the first team to win a Super Bowl in three different decades. This is the earliest Super Bowl where both the head coaches are still with us, Tom Flores and Dick Vermeil are still alive. The halftime show, this is at the Superdome in New Orleans. The halftime show, up with people and their tribute to Mardi Gras. Anyway, Super Bowl XX1, Super Bowl 21 held in the state 37 years ago today at the Rose Bowl. And it was the Giants beating the Denver Broncos. New York has been to five Super Bowls. The Giants are, this is the only Super Bowl they were actually favored in. The halftime show, it was in Los Angeles at the Rose Bowl. A salute to Hollywood's 100th anniversary. And Phil Simms became the first guy to say, I'm going to Disney World in that famed promotion. That was in 1987. Super Bowl XXXII, this is Super Bowl 32, Qualcomm Stadium, which isn't around anymore. It was the Denver Broncos defeating the Packers 31 to 24. Uh, for uh, Denver, it was their first championship. They had been to four previous Super Bowls, lost them all. They finally won a Super Bowl for John Elway. Qualcomm Stadium is the only stadium that would host a Super Bowl and a World Series in the same year. The Padres made the 1998 World Series. The halftime show, it's in San Diego, California. So the halftime show obviously is a tribute to Motown. Birthdays, probably the most famous athlete, the most beloved athlete in the history of the University of Oregon. He is still thought of very highly there, even though he's been gone for nearly 50 years. Steve Prefontaine, born in the state in 1951. When he died of a car accident in Eugene in May of 1975, Steve Prefontaine held every American outdoor track record between 2,000 meters and 10,000 meters, a remarkable achievement. The legendary late Steve Prefontaine and Alicia Keys. She's good. She's a great piano player, terribly underrated as a piano player. She's phenomenal. She acts a little bit and she writes her own material. Happy 43rd, Alicia Keys. Thank you to Alpine Air. For heat and air, call Alpine Air. They are platinum sponsors here on the NCW Life Channel. Still to come, conversation with Dave Tosh from the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center and his buddy, Jim Tarbert. Together, they want to make the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center bigger, and they need it. We'll talk about that, and you can help out by scarfing down a ton of crab in a couple of weeks. But it's pause for pets. Two cats needs a home. Let's visit with our friends from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society.
My name is Yaned Rodriguez, and I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. And this is Butter, our pet of the week. Butter is a 12-year-old orange tabby. Butter loves belly rubs, is playful, good with dogs and cats, has lived with his sister Ruby most of his life, has a gorgeous, gorgeous set of green eyes and will always let you know when he was ready for some love. Butter is a very soft, orange, loving tabby. Our volunteers love spending time with this pair because they're very affectionate and loving and they both have their own personalities. As you can tell, Butter loves the extra affection and love and Ruby enjoys some time to herself. He'll let you know when it's time to stop and when he's ready to just watch out the window. Butter and Ruby were brought into our shelter about 10 days ago, so they've been here for 10 days now, and unfortunately their owner did have to surrender them due to moving to a home where only one pet was allowed. So after being 12 years with their owner, they were brought in to our shelter together as a pair. Because Ruby and Butter have been together for the past 12 years and that's all they know, ideally we would love for them to find their forever home um, as a pair. And again, if you're interested in adopting Butter or Ruby, you can find them at your local firehouse pet shop and when you're ready to do the adoption and finalize it, you can head over to our Humane Society. Our hours are 11 to 6. We are closed Wednesdays to the public for adoptions, but we do open back up Thursday mornings at 11 to begin adoptions and close at 6 p.m. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. Check out clubprocashmere.com for upcoming events and tickets. Hey, hon, would you run us around to the wash rack? Oh, okay. Hey, hon, what happened? They shrunk the truck. The all-new Midsize Canyon is now available at Sangster Motors. Walker's Furniture is overstocked with over $10 million in inventory. And more shipments are arriving daily, so we're forced to have an overstock clearance sale. Get big discounts of 15, 30, even up to 40% off select items in the store. With some discontinued items up to 70% off. Our loss is your gain, as we have to make more room in our warehouses for new shipments arriving daily. So for a short time, you can get big discounts. While supplies last at Walker's. This is Mike Maddock Magnotti, and everybody is entitled to my opinion. Now, have you ever wondered why evangelical folks are so opposed to and condemning of our queer community? Well, there's a number of reasons for that, but an evangelical gay Christian, a guy named Mel White, 
proposes a theory in the book he wrote some time ago called Stranger at the Gate to be gay and Christian in America. Now, Mel White suggests that with the fall of communism in the late 80s and early 90s, TV evangelists needed a new enemy to stir people up in order to keep the financial donations coming in. And this, again, is a common fascist tactic. If you want to stir up like-minded people, and of course, the TV guys needed to get people to keep giving them money, you need to create and then threaten them with the evils of a common enemy. With the threat of communism in those days past, Mill said that some of these guys, they needed some other issue to stir people up enough to keep shelling out their dough and the queer community was handy. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe so. This is Mike Mad Dog Magnati, and that's my opinion. While it may be hard to resist those big brown eyes and pleading face, many people aren't aware that people food can be dangerous to pets. And it's not just because of the added weight gain. Some foods are downright dangerous, including chocolate. For a detailed list of dangerous foods, go online to pawsandclawsvh.com. If you suspect your pet has eaten something dangerous, please call Dr. Shauna Bayes and her staff at 888-PAWS as your pet's health is important to us. Snow piles up quickly. Remove it just as quickly with Kubota Compact and Utility Tractors. Rated number one in durability and owner experience, they're built to take on winter with front and rear mount snow blowers, blades, and rotary sweepers. Get select Kubota tractors for zero down, 2.99% APR for up to 84 months, plus save up to $800 on qualifying snow attachments. See your local Kubota dealer today. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the Diagnostic Doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Imagine my surprise, about a week ago, my good friend Dave Tosh sent me a text and said, can you come down and uh, talk a little crab with me and let's get caught up in the Wenatchee Valley Senior <laughs> Activity Center. I didn't recognize the name on the text, so I immediately said yes, and I thought, oh, it's Dave. But we're here. It's our friend Dave Tosh. Let's get caught up a little bit. Dave, I haven't seen you since before the holidays. Normally, we would come down right before your big holiday craft bazaar and gift fair launches to get a little promotion, a little love for you guys. Yeah. You, you didn't need us this year, did you? It was, wow. it was the biggest one you guys have ever had, isn't it? Every year it gets bigger, and uh, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year by far. Uh, we set new records again for the store in the, during the month of December, but a lot of it has to do with the craft fair and the, uh, the Christmas uh, cottage, as we call it, uh, uh, the word's out, so we don't even hardly have to advertise it anymore. And you talk about your champagne problems, they, 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 they can't get any more people in there. We were talking to your friend, we were afraid that the fire marshal was going to show up and shut you guys down because he had so many people crammed into that space. And that gets us to the next subject, which exactly. we're going to talk about a fundraiser to expand our building. So let's talk about February. Give me the date again. All right, Saturday, February 10th. Saturday, February 10th, right here at the Wenatchee Valley Senior <laughs> Activity Center. It is back. They normally do it in the summertime. They're doing it in the wintertime this year for a very good reason. We're gorging on crab, buddy. Yep, all you can eat crab. And of course, we have the garlic bread and we have the salad and we have an alternative spaghetti for those that don't care for crab. And there's a few of those out there. Uh, anyway, uh, it's going to be a great event. And we've been planning this now for several months. But it is our kickoff for fundraising for the new expansion of our 
building. Let's talk about that real quickly. Obviously, the deed has been here. This building is the same size, the same footprint when it was built. You haven't gotten any bigger, no. but your organization has gotten bigger. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're plumb out of the elbow room, bud. Yeah, our store, you know, during COVID, the store remained open while the center remained closed. What happens is, is you tend to expand a little bit because you have all that idle space. And we did that and we took over some more space uh, that we used to have for activities. And as you look around, uh, we only have a couple rooms left for activities. We need more activities. So we are going to expand the building so we can uh, get those activities back. And so the store is critical to our operations. Many people don't uh, know that we are completely independent. Uh, we have you, to raise our own you money. You don't get any government funding at all. Uh, we get a little bit from the city of Wenatchee, uh -huh. and, God uh, love them. but no, uh, no government or state money. And we like it because we're independent and we get to run our own show. But uh, obviously, uh, we have to raise a lot of money to operate, and uh, the store is critical to that. When did, the, when did the need become acute when you sat down with your board, and there is a board, and there are great volunteers, all of them, I know most of them. When did you guys sit down about a year ago and said, hey, this is, we got to get bigger. Yeah. We have room out to, yeah. the, to the north of us well, in our back parking lot. Let's do it. You're going to get to talk to Jim Tarbert, our right. committee chair for the building. Uh, committee and uh, he is going to talk a lot about uh, what we're doing. Uh, he's got all those details. Without Jim, I'm not sure we would have moved very far. Uh, Jim's been in the community for a long time and like I say, you're going to get to talk to him a little bit about the specifics of what we're doing planning wise. Uh, I, I do uh, believe though that it takes, uh, it takes a lot of effort to get a fundraising campaign underway and this is going to be our kickoff with the, uh, the crab feed. Now the title of our event is Booty for the Build. So our theme is an island nautical theme. We're gonna have uh, some Jimmy Buffett music live oh, and we're going to uh, have a lot of decorations and we're asking for people to dress the theme. And so uh, there's gonna be some pirates here that night and uh, others that want to wear their flowered shirts and their grass skirts and all that. We'll You're going to crank uh, the thermostat up to about 90, make it nice and warm, <laughs> that kind of deal? Well, I don't know about couple that. A couple of humidifiers yeah. and you're good to go, right? But we're going to be in uh, good shape on uh, Saturday the 10th. It's going to look really nice out here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Tickets for this will sell out. I guarantee you that it sells out every year, whether it's in June or in February. They're 120 bucks. You're going to get, and it's all you can eat, all you can eat, that you can just stuff your stuff to the gills with and the obviously the price is a little higher than normal and that's because we're raising money and exactly. uh, so we're gonna have hundred and fifty tickets uh, sold uh, and I'm sure we're gonna sell it out here shortly and, uh, and we're gonna have a little bit of an auction we're gonna have a couple auction items, live auction uh, we're gonna have beer and wine available for sale and we also are gonna have a pirates punch and that'll be interesting I uh, won't tell, tell you what the recipe is, but it'll be a strong, nice pirate's punch. Yeah. Uh, these tickets will sell out. I can't stress this enough. It's sold out every time they've ever done a crab feed or even a spaghetti feed, for that matter. How do folks pick up their tickets uh, for the, uh, the 10th of yeah, February? Yeah, uh, we're asking people to stop by the office, uh, the reception desk. We're open from 9 to 4 every day, uh, Monday through Friday, and, uh, and or call, and we'll take your, your payment over the phone. Um, but we got to keep track of all these tickets so we know, you know, we can't go over 150. Uh, and, and if people want, want to come out for that evening, uh, we're not going to have tables on the dance floor. So we're going to have some great music and they can get up and dance. And Well, you got to work off all the calories from eating nine pounds of crab. So, no, it, it's going to be a fun evening. It really is. Uh, it won't be the normal crab feed that we're used to. Pretty much the normal crab feed is we do a little bit of decorating, but it's more about coming out here and having some really, really good uh, crab, and it's fresh. Uh, the crab season just opened up here about a month ago, local uh, crabbing. It's going to be Dungeness crab, and uh, everything's looking good. Yeah. Tell me about your friend uh, Jim before we get him on uh, camera here. What do yeah. we need to know about this well, guy? Well, Jim, Jim Tarbert has been on our board. Uh, this will be his uh, second go around, uh, second year uh, coming up. And uh, actually, Jim, third year? You can't keep track. <laughs> second year. Uh, Jim came up with this whole idea. He was working as a volunteer in our store. 
and uh, realized how, uh, how uh, <laughs> short on space we were. And he came to me and uh, we put him on our building committee. And without Jim, I'm not sure that we would be able to move along as far as we have with planning for this uh, expansion. And I'm gonna have him talk about that. But uh, Jim uh, was a very successful businessman in, in Wenatchee, uh, taught school prior to that. And uh, I think he, he, uh, he likes projects and so we gave this to him. And uh, of course we're supporting him with, uh, with a lot of help and the building committee is a pretty robust committee. We got 12 to 15 people right now and uh, of people with a lot of talent. That, uh, well, that's good because you don't have any that I know of, Dave, except, <laughs> yeah. except smoozing people. I need a lot you do of that, that really well, though. I'll give you that, Dave. Yeah. People seem to like you. <laughs> Haven't figured that one out yet. Yeah. What is your $120 going to buy you on February 10th? Yeah. The seed money to make this place bigger, and we'll talk about that with Jim when we come back. You're watching Wake Up in Anchee Valley on the NCAA Lab Channel. Your home runs on hot water. From the kitchen, to the bath, to the laundry. So Rheem offers a wide variety of water heaters from traditional models to ones smart enough to tell you how much hot water is available. On second thought, perhaps the laundry can wait. Custom cleaning experts help you clean up your to-do list. Between work, kids, and pets, it's hard to find time to keep up. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee help. Mary Maids cleaning experts can help keep your home or business fresh, neat, and exactly how you'd clean it, if only you had the time. Call now for a free estimate, 509-663-1710. Serving Chelan and Douglas Counties, Mary Maids, let us help. We are back here at the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activities Center talking about the big crab feed on Saturday the 10th. Tickets $120 a pop. You're going to get $120 worth of food and entertainment. And all of it goes to the future expansion of, who's kidding, Jim, a building that needs expanding. You guys have been working on this for about a year and a half A year now. and a half. Yeah. Yes. And, and you got roped into being on the building committee by Dave? I didn't get roped in so much as I could see a problem and that something had to happen. And so after I was elected to the board of directors, uh, I volunteered to be on the building committee. And uh, the board decided uh, a year and a half ago that we absolutely had to do something to make space for activities. Uh, we, our membership is increasing rapidly. Uh, and at the same time, we've had to expand the store to pay the bills. Uh, and so I was tasked with finding the best available option to create space for activities. And so you're going to build out north yes, where the parking I, lot is. I've spent a year and a half, I, we, several of us, working with the city uh, on building codes and zoning uh, to be in compliance. We've worked with an architect to come up with a design so that we can build back of our building and space that we own uh, to build an addition so that we can move the sales area of the store out of this building and we will free up six more rooms for activities. We are at a spot now where I'm active in the uh, senior center writers group mm -hmm. and we've ended up at times when we've had as many as four activities taking place in this one room at the same time and you can imagine what a fiasco that is. Now the, where the thrift show is now Jim uh, where the thrift store is now uh, that wasn't always the case right it was like well let's do a thrift store and this is the, this is the only room we got so we're gonna do it. Yeah. Exactly. They had a small thrift store, but as uh, inflation increased over the last 30 years, uh, 
we, they've had to expand it to pay the bills here. So right now the thrift store is in a room that wasn't even designed to be a store. Oh, no, in fact the, the rooms that it is in were designed for activities. They are not suitable for a store. In fact, uh, you have real security issues and safety issues with it as it is now. Uh, simply because you have no control over what's happening in these rooms. So we're going to get them into one large room uh, expansion at the back of the building. And is this going to be one big room dedicated strictly to the thrift store? Yes. Well, that's perfect then. Yeah, it'll be 62 by 60, or excuse me, 62 by 100. So 6,200 square foot. Which That's will, like a small gymnasium. That's pretty good it, size. It's we call it a barn back on the farm, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it will uh, suit our needs. Your badly needed needs, because it's way. If, if yeah. you've ever come down here during the holiday gift bazaar and crotch bazaar, you know, yeah. it's just it's insane yeah. the, the way you pack people in there. It gives people all the elbow room you need, and you can build from scratch, so you, you don't have to worry about retrofitting a room that wasn't designed that's right. to be a thrift store. Now you're yeah. building something that's designed to be a thrift yeah. store, and it's going to free up the already existing space where the store is now for more activities. Yeah, right now we only have three rooms for activities. When we finish this project, we'll have nine rooms. Yeah, it's the Wenatchee activity. Valley Senior Activity Center, not yeah. the Wenatchee Valley Senior Sereditary. You know, yeah. it, it just doesn't work that way. No, no. It doesn't work that way at all. This is really, really exciting uh, news, and we're glad that we can be a part of it. And again, $120 to free your tickets. That gets things going. You have a big crab feed. You sell, you sell all 150 tickets. You got that kitty money, mm -hmm. Jim, to get things going. Then what? Walk me through the timeline of the process. Okay. Uh, we will be. We have worked with uh, our state federal representatives, uh, talking about state and federal grants. Also with a uh, grant writer for private foundations. Uh, they we need matching funds in order to apply for any of those, and that's the reason we have the crab feed, and we'll be having other uh, events here over the next year and why we're soliciting uh, donations. We, the board, ha we uh, need about $400,000 in matching funds in order to qualify for state and federal funds. And so that's our goal. Uh, we will start uh, applying for grants as soon as we have matching funds. Uh, I anticipate right now uh, that we will have the funds we need a year from now in July and start the process at that time. And potentially two years from today, uh, we will be ready to cut the yellow ribbon that would be to awesome. move into our expanded facility. How much crab can you uh, can you eat in one sitting, Jim? We're going to find out uh, well, Saturday actually, the 10th. I don't eat crab, but I bought a ticket to okay. support the program. Spaghetti, right? They yes. have spaghetti, and they had it for another event, and mm -hmm. it's absolutely the best spaghetti I've ever eaten. So yeah. the next time you do another fundraiser, whatever it is, to get, to get the ball rolling on this new expansion to the north uh, of their already existing campus, we're on board. Just let me know. And to be honest with you, I'd rather talk to you than Dave anyway. And, yeah, you know. we're going to need all the help we can get <laughs> from you, from the community. Uh, one more question, Jim. How, how old is this building, the one that we're in now? This building is 30 years old. Did, do you look back now and you think, what were they thinking 30 years ago when they built this, knowing that it's not going to get smaller, it's always going to get bigger? Why didn't they build more larger rooms like the one that we're in now? Well, at the time it was considered large, and in fact the membership was upset because they built the building clear out in the countryside. <laughs> Guess what? Guess the country what? came to them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on Maple Street, and now it's like a freeway in front of us, and we have buildings all around us and a school next door. Uh, fortunately, they did buy several adjoining lots, mm -hmm. and so we do have room for expansion to the back. And that's what they plan on doing. Yeah, and we have lots of parking space. And so they did a very good job. Yeah.
Yeah. Jim Tarbert, my friend, good to see you. Uh, have a good time on the 10th. Yeah. And I'll have your portion of crab if you're not going to eat a buddy. That's what I'm all over. Yeah. Again, tickets are on sale right here at the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. 120 bucks a pop, limited to 150 tickets. They will sell out. Don't procrastinate. Don't dilly-dally. Get it done. And we will see you whenever you want us to come. We will be here with bells on, Jim. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate the help. You're watching Wake Up in Anchee Valley. We'll be right back. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why people here drive Honda. Dependable all-wheel drive with traction control with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to fill up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda is known for legendary fuel efficiency? Great deals are here now, and so is Mr. Frost. So see your Inland Northwest Honda dealer today. Honda can handle it. Have you been to Boswell's Furniture lately? Yes, Boswell's has an expansive two-story showroom filled with so many great choices for our living room, dining room, and bedroom. Did you know that Boswell sells directly from their store inventory so we wouldn't have to wait to get our new furniture? Yes, plus Boswell's has free local delivery and complimentary design service to help us with the layout and fabric choices. No waiting and amazing customer service. I mean, why would we go anywhere else? Boswell's on Easy Street. It's closer than you think. The Clearwater Saloon and Casino has the best Vegas-style games in East Wenatchee. Come enjoy yourself and discover the nightly action. Win big and meet new friends at the Clearwater Saloon and Casino. Imagine a science project being done on the kitchen table. Feel the excitement on Christmas morning as the kids race down the stairs to form memories that cannot be erased. Listen for the laughter coming from the next room. Put your family in a new home to make these visions become reality with Coldwell Banker Cascade. Use the move meter entering two cities and see how a potential move scores based on the cost of living and other factors. Make your dream place a reality with Coldwell Banker Cascade today. Well, once again, the sun is taking the day off. It's been a while since we had the gooey, big yellow egg yolk kind of thing up in the, what is that, sun up in the sky. It's still there. It's just, can't see it. 34 degrees. We're going to do your complete weather forecast in just a little bit. We have a little bit of time. If you signed up for Woody Wednesday yesterday, it's time to do the drawing. We had a super package yesterday. Not only do we have the $50 gift card from the Crepe House at the Victorian Village here on the south end of town. Good food, the Crepe House. People are buzzing about this place. We also threw in four tickets to see Music Theater Wenatchee's production of an inspector calls. It's a really, it's a good play. It's not a musical, even though it's put on by Music Theater of Wenatchee. There's no singing, but it's a detective story, so why would you have singing? And uh, so the winner, whose name I'm going to draw, is going to get the uh, Crip House $50 gift card and four tickets to see an inspector calls for the evening of Friday, February, uh, Saturday, February 3rd. All right, here you go. Close my eyes. Everything's on the up and up, so you know I'm not cheating. And the winner is... Mongersplurg Snurgenan. Oh, it's upside down. Lisa, congratulations, Lisa. I will be getting a hold of you, and you have a $50 gift card from the Crepe House, and four tickets to take you and three people you like, or two people you don't like, it doesn't matter to me, to go see uh, an inspector calls on the evening of Saturday, February 3rd at the Riverside Playhouse. Enjoy opening night, by the way, for that play is tonight. As you can see behind me, it's foggy, and it's really foggy out in the Columbia Basin, Waterville, on a two-hour delay again. They had freezing fog that stuck to the roadway, and you got bad visibility out in Quincy, uh, Moses Lake, out in Ritzville. Again, if you have to travel on the I-90 corridor between, say, George and Ritzville, you might wait a couple of hours, let the sun get a little higher in the sky, and burn off some of that fog. From the National Weather Service, here we go. Yeah, clouds and rain and 36. Snow level today, 2,700 feet dry tonight. Just cloudy and foggy, 31 for the overnight low. Snow level tomorrow, 2,100 feet. So rain, if we get anything, and a high of 36. Snow level, 7,000 feet on Saturday. 
and a lot of rain and pretty warm temperatures too right into Monday and Tuesday. That's it for us. Have a great Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. me, Elizabeth, and today my friends Jennifer Veal, Mayada Walsh, Garrett Clayton, and Jesse LeBeau are exploring some amazing rural residences with me. We'll start in St. Petersburg, Russia. What is it, like 10 blocks long? Probably. <laughs> it's huge. Then get an exclusive view inside some of Venice's famous palazzos. Look at this room. It's just how it was hundreds of years ago, candlelit. It's like we're stepping back in time. Then it's off to Munich and Berlin in Germany. So we're here at King Frederick's grave, but why are there potatoes on it? Before arriving in style in Austria. I could live in here. <laughs> it's your chance to be royal, or at least see how the royals live. So let's go. Come on, sister. Welcome to Elizabeth Stanton's great big world of palaces and palazzos. Every destination is unique in its own way, but there's 